So the first question we have today comes from Tejasvi Nikam on YouTube. And she says, Hi, Robin and Laura. Your videos and articles are of immense help. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I am doing the North, Northern Circuit three-day hike next month. And I was wondering if there is any garage or warehouse sales where I can buy the hiking gear like jackets, shoes, sleeping bag at thrift rates. I am traveling from India and thus wouldn't want to carry the hiking gear across the world. Looking forward to your input here. Thanks a ton. All right. So, um, first up, what is the Northern Circuit? First of all, yeah, that is one of the great hikes, or the great walks, sorry, of New Zealand. It's in the Tongariro National Park, and it also incorporates the Tongariro Crossing, which most people who know about New Zealand have heard about that. So, yeah, it's on the North Island, three-day hike, and yeah, there's loads of multi-day hikes in New Zealand worth checking out. So, if you don't want to cut all your hiking gear, from your home country, or maybe you just don't need hiking gear in your home country and only want to do it in New Zealand, then there are a few options to get slightly cheaper gear in New Zealand. But, um, so, Te Te what was her name, sorry? Um, Tejasvi. Te Tejasvi asked um, what hiking gear that she can get at thrift rates, but maybe what thrift rates are in India is probably not gonna be the same in New Zealand. No. And, um, I'm often pretty shocked by how expensive and some items are in second-hand stores and stuff. Um, they are cheaper than buying it brand new, yes, but don't expect to be getting stuff for like a dollar here and a dollar there. Yeah. It's, us it usually, um, it's usually a bit more expensive than that, but um, yeah, nevertheless, there's definitely some cheaper options. All right, cool. So um, to buy second-hand articles in New Zealand, you've got multiple options. You've got uh, Facebook groups, which actually are quite popular and quite handy however they may take a little bit more time and we'll talk about that in a minute uh, you've got the hostels uh, which actually sometimes have um, some some stuff leftovers you get second hand shop you also can rent sometimes for some hostels and some gear some gears can be provided by some tour companies if you use a tool but we'll go through all of them one by one and let's start with second hand thrift store that's uh, what she asked me yeah okay so um second hand stores or op shops as they're more yeah. more well known in new zealand by and that means opportunity store or um, but yeah mostly called op shops um, they can be found all over New Zealand mostly in the sort of larger towns and definitely a few different options in cities and um, what would be near there's definitely um, some secondhand stores near the northern circuit in the towns of Topo and Turangi so yeah there's definitely going to be some options in terms of secondhand stores and usually where the secondhand stores are near areas with lots of hikes there's usually a a lot of hiking gear there because there often are people that have done the hikes and then they just donate the stuff to the op shop there so there's different types of op shops and there's hospice is one of the brands there's salvation army is one of the brands there's the spca as well yep spca and then there's a lot of sort of independent op shops um which will just say op shop or second hand yeah. store and yeah that's about it but yeah, usually it's a bit, uh, I'm sure you all understand what second-hand stores are like. They're a little bit of a mess. It's hard to find things, yeah. but usually if, if you're pretty savvy about these things, you can find some good hiking gear sort of buried in the back somewhere. So yeah, for sure. All right, so your other options are actually Facebook groups. Uh, Facebook groups are very handy to use for a lot of people are buying and selling their items. Uh, you know, either they live in New Zealand or even locals, you have buy and sell. A Facebook group for every town you are. So let's say you are in Auckland, you, you can search for Auckland buy and sell and you find multiple Facebook groups where people are buying and selling a, a few items. Now the issue with Facebook group, I'll just start with the negative, um, the issue with the Facebook group is that it may take you a little bit longer to get the needs, that, the, the gears that you want, because you need to find a, a, a good listing, then you need to contact the person, it may take one, two, maybe three days to kind of arrange a meetup and then you know give them the money, take the items and all of that. So it's not necessarily the most flexible kind of way to get secondhand um, gears in New Zealand if you are tight um, time limit. If you just want to be able to hop somewhere and to just buy it right, right out of the gate, 
and leave and it takes you only 30 minutes but at that point you have uh, you know you are going to be eh, not necessarily going to like the Facebook group so much now on the other hand is that uh, that the Facebook group are usually much cheaper than the op shops um, the, uh, the the second hand shops in New Zealand are, as Laura mentioned they're not necessarily that cheap and on the Facebook group people just want to get rid of something you know you take a picture of it and you say I want that gun today and, uh, and and you know they're willing to give it to you for like very very cheap and and we see that happening quite often we've got quite a few things from the, those facebook groups and it's quite handy so um that's that's another one of your of your options um nowadays uh, you know in the same vein of the facebook groups um there is a website in new zealand called trade me um it's basically the equivalent of the equivalent of ebay ebay is not really that popular in new zealand but trade me definitely is so you'll be able to find quite a lot of second-hand items on Trade Me at very decent price. But again, it's the time of you know um, the bidding on the auction and winning the auction and sending the payment, them sending it to you. So if you're in New Zealand for a lengthier period of time and want some really good second-hand gears for a discount, that's a really good option. However, if you're here for a very short time and you, you only have about an hour to sort out your gears, then that's a little bit more of, a, uh, of, a, of an even one. Um, now, shop-wise, there are some shops which are available. So, there are some really cheap shops where you can get some really cheap gears, and, and that sometimes are going to be cheaper than the second-hand shop. And the good thing with that, if you, if you get that from um, from those um, from those cheap store, store, you can leave it behind in the hostel or something, and that can help someone else. So those stores will include the, the warehouse, for example, that is uh, that is really cheap, and there are also some army surplus stores where you'll be able to get some really good gears for like quite cheap. So that's the, the other options. Um, but there are also some, some companies um, that uh, will organize tools with you and that would provide rent, uh, like a gears alongside with it. Yeah, so if you're using maybe a tow company as transport to get to um, one of the hikes or walks in New Zealand, or there's even companies that just generally do um, hiking rentals, usually these are located where there are the most popular walks, like the like the Northern Circuit because it is a great walk of New Zealand and basically anything that's a great walk is a popular walk. So yeah, these companies will, will have that an option to rent out, for instance, hiking poles, sometimes even hiking shoes, waterproof jackets, that sort of thing. Um, so yeah, th this is definitely something to look into. And if you're looking for transport to get to a, a hiking trail or something, it's always worth asking, do you do gear rentals as well? And, and to add to this, if you ever decide to do a guided hike, so um, it does happen really often that, uh, you know, you kind of feel like you want an expert to come with you. It's usually much more expensive, it does cost quite a lot of money to do that but everything is sorted out for you almost every single one of the company that will offer a guided hike of any of the great book will be able to provide uh, gears along the way um just you know like all the hiking poles all the those, those kind of things and um and they will actually be very often kind of included in the price so that may be worth considering as well so it's all sorted for you and also come to some of the um some of the activities if you guys are watching this video not just about the northern circuit um let's say you're about to do a glacier hike in new zealand you don't have to have your own crampons it's included in the tour you know let's say you are doing uh you are doing a kayaking tour and everything you do not need to have your life jacket or your wetsuit or any other scout things usually is provided in the tour if you're about to go do some surfing or some um or some uh, uh, swimming with dolphins and everything the wetsuit will be provided to you it's part of the tour it's one of the inclusion so uh, it's just a side segue from yeah. the northern circuit but it's just to give you some information um, about that as well and uh, finally the last option is uh, hostels uh, quite a lot in the hostels uh, nearby some of the great work there is a lot of gears either leftover or to rent yeah so this isn't definitely isn't something to rely on because no. you don't know what you're going to find and if there is going to be anything left because of, often the good stuff goes quickly but there are some hostels that will have like a box simply labeled free stuff or something <laughs> like that and yeah usually in there there might be a good jacket there might be there might be like an old rain jacket or some boots and stuff. Obviously, this uh, you never know what the quality is going to be like because obviously it might have been got rid of for a reason. I know I've definitely left a jacket in one of those um, boxes before because it started to get holes in, but it's still 
better than Wait. having nothing, so... There is a hostel somewhere in New Zealand that has one of my hiking shoes. I, I, <laughs> I did finish one of our trips once and I had one hiking shoe left, so one of them is left somewhere yeah. in the hostel. So <laughs> if you guys ever find one uh, left hiking shoe, you know, that may be mine. Yeah, so basically <laughs> those sort of, yeah, the free free stuff box in a hostel is more of a like last resort. Like, if you really have nothing, then the stuff they have in there is probably better than nothing, yeah. but they're not great either. <laughs> All right, so this wraps up our um, take on where can you get some um, hiking gears for cheap in New Zealand. We do have a full article on that on backpackguide.nz, and we're having an article about everything. Yeah. But yeah, here you go, we have an entire article for you guys. And if you do find our video and our help useful, uh, consider subscribing to the channel. That's always super helpful. As well as uh, hit the like button. It's really good for us. Uh, it, it, you know, it shows us that we do something nice.